A planet where the seas are filled with sand. A world where beasts live as men. A world where men are ruled by beasts. Morte, Morte, are you okay? Mm, uh, she's pale as a ghost and covered in sweat. This is serious. Mm, uh, Morte, the fever is not coming down at all. Yeah, I do. Damn it, Mort, what's going on in there? She needs her rest. Sorry, you're right. I'm just worried. We need to get her to a doctor. I agree. I'll pull in at the nearest pole. Your avid shell bones won't be much help. This is no disease. It's a cure. I mean, uh, it's a curse. You're saying that snakes down woods did this? So that's it, we just wait for her to die? A curse can be lifted. How? A little bit down. Wooly? You might now know him as Elphus Elphus Rex. If anybody can kill her, it's probably him. We're supposed to walk up to a beast wall and just ask for help. <sighs> Again, we have to try. If there's a chance he can help, we have to. Carrier, there are bounties on our heads. How many beast lords have we killed? <laughs> Do you think they'll really want to help us? Sorry, I keep slipping into English accent. I beg if I have to. He may not listen, but I'm going to try. Please, Agen. I admit we don't seem to have any other options. But we have to be careful. These be swords are dangerous. He'll help her. Let's hope so. Now let's get to me on. Who's there? Exactly remember his voice. Hello, Wooly. I trust you've been well. Ah, Lady Rhea. It's been too long. Have you come with Phyllis Rex? That young woman, please bring her inside quickly now. Don't you want to know what happened? I'll hear all the details later, young man. Her condition requires my immediate attention. Thank you. This is so nice. So much for being careful. It's fine, Willie really can't stand to see people suffering. Procedure is done. Now all she needs is rest. She'll be all right? Yes, though it was perilously close. Not even the Scarlet Plague could withstand the curse of Serpent's Rex. You knew who she was, and you still treated her. I treat all who come through my doors. 
criminal or otherwise. Such is the nature of my work as a doctor. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. Not me. How can you be sure? I saw how worried he was when he saw her. He did all he could to help. That's enough to earn him my trust. You're right to give it to him, Kyrie. If you can trust him, so can I. Well, he did save her. Your trust is most warmly appreciated. Please, rest here for the night. You will be safe. I'll see to it that a room is made ready. Kyrie is so worried about her. And actually, it's a good thing that we did bring her here. Hello. Uh, I'm Beastcat100. And welcome back to more Sands of Destruction. I'm not going to be talking much this episode. Um, this part of the game is very heavy with the actual dialogue, so... Um, but in the last episode, yes, we did de defeat Serpent's Rex. However, um, her dying words laid a curse on Morte, and that's why she's in this condition. Um... This is also where, like, the feelings start to come out a lot more, uh, between, like, with Kyrie. Like, you've seen hints of it, and then, you'll see. It's, it's really, it's actually really sweet. I'm, I'm a sucker for this type of stuff. Um, that's what I, especially when I'm reading, too. Anyway, we're going to see, um, her in just a minute and I'll see you on the other side oh sir your friend awoke a moment ago she did why don't you go see her I'm so she appreciate the company Morte about oh nothing I thought I'd drop by to check up on you I hope I'm not interrupting oh 
not at all. Your color's a lot better. I wish all my patients recovered so quickly. They build a sand tribe girls tough. I, I believe it. Still, you mustn't rush things. Take it easy today, hmm? Kyrie, perhaps we should let her rest. Oh, of course. Sorry. Hey, Kyrie. I don't think I actually said it before, but thanks. You're welcome, Morte. Thank you to have thank you again for helping her. I played a small part. We owe the rest of Morte's resilient constitution. I'd rather your carrying administrations also helped hasten her recovery. I barely did anything. Lust, verdue, nurtured by the loving sun, caressed by gentle breezes. I love this world, Kyrie. Dearly, I only wish to protect him from harm. Do you feel so differently, Kyrie? I know Morte does. She's convinced it's the only way. Have you considered, Kyrie? If the world is destroyed, you and Morte will be lost along with it. That's true. I wouldn't pressure you an answer right now, but please do think on it. It merits introspection. What do you want to do? Do you want to wish to protect him? Oops, okay. I'm not sure I know. Yeah, we can't go back for her. At least right now. Um. Yeah, so, you know, Kyrie kind of reveals how well, not really reveals how he feels about her, but not directly, at least. She could probably put the pieces together. But, um, yeah, their their responses are different now. If you read it earlier, their, their responses are different after she's recovered. Um, uh, but, uh, something weird is gonna happen here. Letter? I wonder how this got here. Waterland Annihilation Front Eyes Only. Last of Progress demands a reissue of your order. Slay the Golden Earth. No further delays will be accepted. Move on to the Tower of Earth at once. We're back. Oh, hi. What's gotten into you? It looks like your jaw's about to fall off. What's that? It's from the front. Where are they here? Where are they here? Looks that way, but there was nobody here when I found the letter, though. They're everywhere, and they're nowhere. Am I the only one who finds this a little suspicious? And what's with these orders? Kill the next pound mold. Chop, chop. They make it all sound so easy. What's wrong, Carrier? Uh, what? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Well, the Tower of Earth is Mecto. What do you want to do? I think. So we get healed it. Yo, it's been a while since I slipped that well. I wonder if Morte's up. Let's go see. Sure, let's go. Okay to be up and about? Never better. If this works, I could 
I said I could do th anything I found up to. Well, he would know. Now, now I'm back, we have to ma make up for all that misdestruction. <laughs> you really are back to normal. It sounded like such a good idea at the time. Looks like we're ready. Not yet. I want to say goodbye to Willie. Me too. He helped us so much. Let's go thank him. And a really awkward cut there. I thought they were doing this back. Bring out Elephus Rex! I know that voice. What? Morgan. Please keep your voice down. This is a hospital. A hospital. More like a butcher shop for running human experiments. And Morte, too? This is the last place I expected to run into you. I could say the same. You sent no word after you escaped the Sky Jail. Now I hear rumors you've joined the World Annihilation Front. It's a long story. Who's that? That's Kana, the leader of the Golden Lions. Anyway, what's all this about a butcher shop? Haven't you heard? They perform experiments on humans here. The director's a feral, worse, a beast lord. His kindness is a facade. I hate to disappoint you, but he actually checks out. He even saved Mort's life. They treat people from the whole region. You should go in and talk to some of them yourself. You'll be surprised. Do you hear the words coming from your mouth? Siding with the Pharaohs is a great betrayal bargain. If the truth is betrayal, then I am a traitor. Or does your interest in the truth end when it doesn't suit your needs? Step aside, Agen. We came to speak with Elephus Rex. Going to let your weapons do the talk. You're no better than the Pharaohs. I never thought I'd hear such words from our second. Then you're determined to stand in our way? I don't mean to stand in anyone's way. But if you want to do this, you'll play by my rules. Talk, talk, talk. Fight or don't fight. But let's get on with it, shall we? You've changed, Hagen. You both have. I'll take that as a compliment. So long, Carla. None of us would have been able to stop them. That guy didn't have the salt to face a beast lord. So Agen here stepped in and played turncoat. Garna saved face and nobody got hurt. Pretty smart, really. Huh. Oh. You give me way too much credit. Oh, so, uh, it's fine. I'd long since given up being their second anyhow. You're sure? I like to think I've outgrown them. 
I've been betrayed by humans and helped by pharaohs. Things change. Foggin. Not that I agree with the world annihilation front either. I think I'll follow Topi's lead and go with the flow. Meaning? For now, I do what I've been doing. Keep an eye on trouble matters. Anyway, we're done. Let's say our goodbyes and hit the road. Leaving already. Do be careful. And thank you, Ogden, for helping us avert bloodshed. Don't get the wrong idea. I did that for them. Still, if you want to call it favor, let's hit, let's say it squares for us for more. <laughs> well, if you're really to <laughs> We'll be going now. Goodbye, Willy. Actions really screw me up. Take care, Lateria. And my past self. Kyrie. Don't forget about what we talked about yesterday. I pray you realize your mistake before it's too late. Goodbye. Is this really a mistake? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm coming. And that's all the time we have for this episode. In the next episode, we will be heading over to Mio, or Mion, yes, or Mekito, Mekto, um, for, to, uh, tackle the Tower of Earth. So until then, this is Sky 100 and I'll see you guys next time on the Sands of Destruction.